The click of my heels on the wooden floor seemed to echo like a drumbeat, a steady reminder of the unfamiliar territory I was venturing into. My sister Emily's voice rang out, tinged with impatience, Guillaume, are you coming? Our ride will be here in a few minutes. I'm coming. It's just hard to walk in these heels. I called back, my voice a mix of amusement and exasperation. Who knew footwear could be a challenge? There was a pause, and then her voice softened, it is, isn't it? Well, there you are. Oh my god. What? I reached the bottom of the stairs, self-conscious under her gaze. You look stunning. My dress fits you perfectly, she said, her eyes wide. I couldn't help but blush, which was weird because under normal circumstances I'd be rolling my eyes. Well, luckily we're about the same size, Emily. The makeup felt heavy on my face, and the hair. Let's just say it wasn't my usual style. Yeah. But the way you've done your makeup and hair. As if you wanted to. Listen, sis. I just don't want anyone to recognize me, okay? I interrupted her, fiddling with the dress. I'll suffer my punishment at the club, and that's that. Emily looked like she was trying not to laugh. If you say so, Guillaume. Well, what should your name be for the night? Wilma. I'm fine with that, I sighed, resigning to the evening ahead. Then there was the issue of the breast forms, which were not cooperating. Hey, could you help me out a little? These breast forms aren't staying put. Sure, Wilma, I'll adjust them a little. But you even went for one so big. Admit it, you wanted to she didn't finish her sentence, and honestly, I was glad for the interruption. The doorbell rang, signaling the arrival of our friends, my cue to leave the safety of the house. Oh, your friends seem to have arrived. Let's go. Whatever reservations I had, I tucked them away. Whatever you say, Hadi. I muttered, stepping into a night that would surely be unforgettable. As we walked out the door, I took a deep breath. It was just one night, right? How bad could it be? The air was cool outside, sending a shiver down my spine, or maybe it was the nerves. As I approached the car, the eyes of my friends widened in shock, disbelief, and then... Amusement. Their laughter filled the night, and I couldn't help but join in. This was ridiculous, but it was too late to back out now. As the car started, the city lights blurred past us. I tried to sit gracefully, mindful of the dress and the persona I had to embody. Emily was chatting away, explaining to our friends the bet I had lost, which had resulted in my current attire. At the club, the bass thumped like a second heartbeat. I could feel it in my chest, reverberating through my whole body. Emily looped her arm through mine as we approached the bouncer. This is my cousin, Wilma. It's her first time at a club, she said with a sly smile. The bouncer eyed me, a flicker of a smile hidden under his stern facade, and then he nodded us through. The club was a kaleidoscope of lights, sounds, and bodies moving in rhythm. Emily guided me to the bar, ordering us a couple of drinks. I was grateful for the dim lighting, hoping it would help keep my identity more ambiguous. As the night unfolded, the initial awkwardness gave way to a strange liberation. Dancing in heels, I was clumsy, but nobody seemed to care. Everyone was lost in their own world, and I became just another part of the colorful mosaic of the club. Emily was right beside me, dancing and laughing, making sure I didn't fall flat on my face. At one point, she leaned over, her voice barely audible over the music, You're not so bad at this, Guillaume. I mean, Wilma. I smiled, and for a moment, I forgot about the bet, the dress, and the breast forms. I was just someone having fun, someone different from who I was this morning. It was liberating and terrifying all at once. The night went on, filled with dancing and laughter. And when it was time to go, I realized I had survived the evening. More than that, I had enjoyed parts of it. Back in the car, with my feet aching and my face probably smeared with makeup, I found myself already reminiscing with a smile. I had stepped into someone else's shoes, quite literally, and found that the world looked different from this angle. It was a lesson I wouldn't forget anytime soon. As we headed home, I rested my head against the window, the stars above just a little brighter, my world just a little wider. The silence in the car was comfortable, filled with the unspoken acknowledgement of the night's revelations. Then, Emily broke the silence with a tentative, yet supportive tone. You know, if you liked. Exploring this side of yourself, I'm here for you. We can explore it together. Her words were like a beacon in the dark, offering a path I hadn't let myself consider seriously until now. Really. You wouldn't think it's weird. Me. Liking the idea of being a girl. 
Emily chuckled softly, a sound that warmed the cool air between us. Weird. Guillaume, if it makes you happy, if it feels right, then it's the most normal thing in the world. And you're not alone. I'll help you explore this, figure out what it means for you, step by step. Her acceptance and offer of support felt like a gift. It was one thing to dress up for a night under the guise of a lost bet, quite another to acknowledge that the person I was in those hours felt more me than I had in a long time. Thank you, Emily, I whispered, a mix of gratitude and newfound hope threading through my words. I think I'd like that. To explore, I mean. To see if. If being a girl is a part of who I am. Emily reached over, squeezing my hand gently. Then that's what we'll do. There's no rush, no right or wrong way to go about this. We'll take it at your pace, and I'll be here, every step of the way. And who knows? Maybe you'll find a name that fits you better than Wilma. I laughed, the tension easing from my shoulders. Yeah, maybe something a bit less on the nose. But for now, Wilma's not so bad. As the city lights faded into the distance and the stars seemed to shine a little brighter, I felt a sense of peace. With Emily by my side, I was ready to embark on this journey of self-discovery, wherever it might lead. The night had been unforgettable, not just for the adventures and laughter, but for the doors it had opened within me. A new chapter was beginning, and for the first time in a long while, I was eager to turn the page.